the work I have uh, written together with my colleagues, Pascual Julián, Jaime Canaval, and Carlos Vázquez. Oh, we come from the University of Castilla-La Mancha in Spain. And uh, in general, this work uh, is connected with the uh, line, uh, the research line uh, and, uh, that we are exploring during the last decade, uh, decade uh, concerning the design of uh, fuzzy logic languages and tools and applications. And in particular, uh, in the last few years, we are focusing on amalgamating two families of uh, fuzzy logic languages. The one uh, with, uh, uh, in some sense, pacifies prologue by introducing similarity relations. And the other family, uh, in general, uh, is concerned with the use of uh, lattices of two degrees beyond the simple case of uh, two and four. So, uh, in this uh, work, uh, we are, uh, I will resume briefly at the beginning of my talk, the uh, most important aspect we have developed in the, in the past. Uh, for instance, we have uh, developed the syntax, the operation of semantics, and also we have several implementation issues uh, regarding this new fast language. Even in the, la in the previous edition of this conference in Berlin, we presented the paper uh, introducing a uh, very uh, <coughs> flexible notion of equality, uh, uh, which is uh, especially well suited for this kind of uh, language. And uh, our current work is uh, concerned with the, uh, at the end, uh, producing the declarative semantics of the, of the language. We are, uh, our construct is the base of the classical notion of uh, this Herman model using prologue, but we classify this notion in two senses. The first one uh, for uh, allowing the possibility of managing two degrees and fuzzy collectives and so on, and uh, also similarity relations. So uh, let me. Uh, um, provide you some uh, ideas about the language uh, preceding the, the current one. Uh, this language was called MOLP, in the Penenka, stands for uh, multi adjoint Logic Programming. And in this slide, you can see uh, a, a, a glance, uh, a comparison between classical Prolog and MAP. The idea in Prolog, we manage clauses, and the notion of glue is uh, true or false. Connectives, we have only uh, the contaction and the indication. And uh, rules are typical clauses. Up to one atom in the head, and several atoms in the body. Uh, the operational principle is just a uh, resolution, and the declarative semantic is based on the this uh, uh, model I have, uh, I have in the asset. Uh, when moving to the MAL framework, we uh, use uh, multi adjoint lattices. The typical one is uh, real numbers in the unit interval, but we can also uh, uh, use any other uh, notion of truth, even uh, 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 lattices with a partial ordering between the elements. The, the rank of connectives is uh, very, very wide. Uh, for instance, here we are uh, proposing the conjunction of the Lukasiewicz uh, called the uh, fuzzy logic, disjunction of model, uh, implication of product, hybrid uh, connective, uh, like the typical one of average, from which this is the average between two, two degrees, and so on. Now, rules uh, are weighted because at the end we uh, put a uh, well, uh, two degree associated to the whole rule. We, uh, in indication, we use, uh, we can select many kinds of indications. In the body, we can introduce also uh, several connectives. The operational principle is based on a solution that, uh, in a fancy way, we call a pro on admissible step and also the steps. And the uh, least passive error model in this case relies on the so called atomic property, which is the uh, only way to explain it in this work. Here you can see very typical graphics uh, regarding the uh, conjunctions, also called genomes, in a fuzzy uh, setting. Uh, 
for product logic, uh, goggles, and the same uh, logics. And also, the sanctions expressed in with the formula so here in the graphical view. And here you can see the shape of a program writing uh, uh, with this uh, language. Uh, uh, in black, the elements are very close to the classical prolog, but uh, in, in, in red you can see the uh, weights that we have seen to each rule. And finally, in blue, we can introduce uh, connectives, fuzzy connectives. And here, this program is easy to read in the sense that we are indicating that hotel this is elegant with this uh, weight. Close this, uh, this is close to taxi with this uh, percentage. And we say that the good hotel, that X is a good hotel, it, uh, it has a good uh, average between B in vanguard risk and very close to uh, metro. If we try to execute this program in a bar engine, uh, uh, we cannot uh, get the solutions. Because in particular, there are no vanguard uh, there are no facts indicated uh, for the predicate vanguard risk. And we see that this is elegant, but it is the risk is not vanguard risk, and something similar to close. Close risk is close to taxi, but not to metro. So, in the, in the next step, I will try to introduce similarity relations for establishing correspondences between vanguard risk and Telegram on one side, and also Metro and Taxi on the other side. So uh, when we introduce these uh, possibilities of the service similarities, the program uh, now is called uh, belongs to a new language, uh, uh, which is the, the goal of this talk, and we will get solutions for, for this goal. So, the fuzzy language is a revolution of the mal uh, precedent, and uh, the, in general, the syntax is almost the same, but uh, we have the possibility of introducing uh, similarity equations for modeling similarity relations. And fuzzy stands for fuzzy aggregators and similarity into a logic language, something I, I got. <laughs> so, moving from Mark to Fuzzy, uh, the differences appear uh, basically here. The possibility of introducing the similarity equations for modeling a similarity relation. At the operational level, we need to uh, falsify the proper unification process because Mark relies, uh, like, like Prolo, in pure syntactic unification. So, we have introduced, you know, in the operational principle, we have introduced a new, a new unification uh, mechanism that we call weak unification. And finally, uh, the declarative aspect that is uh, the main goal of this talk is to re re redesign the least classical model of uh, MAR program, uh, but coping now with similar. So from now on, we told, uh, we say that uh, P is a passive program. Uh, it, it, it has three components. A set of rules, a similarity relation, on the lattice of two digits. Remember that in Mark, this uh, ingredient is not uh, present. Talking about similarity relations, uh, the mathematical concepts are very uh, well known and very well studied in, in, this, uh, in many uh, works. Similarity relations is a fuzzy linear relation, or can be seen as a fuzzy subset of the mapping from a universe to you to a uh, lattice of two degrees. And the similarity relations amplify reflexivity, symmetry, and sensitivity. And here in the current example, uh, or in the running example of the proceedings, we are uh, established that some similarities between the 
symbols, vanguard this elegant metro transilian bus. The reflexivity property is seen here in this frame, in this line. As you can see in red, symmetry is, obviously, we see that this triangle is the same as the, this symmetric to the model triangle. And sensitivity, we have that the metro and taxi, for instance, are similar. And also metro and bus, then taxi and bus are also similar by my sensitivity. So, <coughs> uh, the similarity relation uh, R can be extended from symbols to terms or to order. So, uh, here we can see an, an example. If we know that <coughs> the elegant and vanguard and vanguardist are similar symbols, and also taxi and metro are similar symbols, then the full terms elegant taxi and vanguardist metro are also similar. Combination of the similarities among between the, the other symbols. The, regarding the unification process, remember that we have extended the uh, notion of most general unifier to the new one of weak most general unifier. If we have two expressions f and g, the most general unifier computed by uh, uh, typical syntactic. Uh, Algorithm indicates that when applying the unifier to both expressions, they become the same term. Here, when we move to unification, uh, the idea is that when we apply the weak unifier to both expressions, they don't necessarily become uh, the same term, the same expression, but we only can say that both words are similar with uh, a given similarity degree R. This is the new assumption. Now, let's uh, go back again to the previous example. Note that uh, in the top of the uh, uh, window uh, of the screen, uh, we have exactly the same problem than before. But the novelty is now that uh, we have included now this uh, set of uh, similarity equations. In, uh, in particular, we are indicating that the uh, elegant are in one. This, this is a symbol uh, that has uh, admits one parameter. Elegant and vanguardies are similar in this sense, and metro bus and bus and taxi in this sense. So we introduce to our system uh, these three similarity equations. The system internally performs the uh, transitive closure and produces a, a full uh, transitivity, uh, sorry, uh, similarity relation. Now, if we execute the previous row, row total x, then uh, the system. When executing this rule, the third rule, uh, and mm -hmm. trying to solve vanguardist X, uh, by applying weak unification, this vanguardist X uh, weakly, weakly unifies with elegant trees, because elegant and vanguardist are established now uh, to be similar. And something similar occurs with close, because now close trees taxi uh, weakly unifies with close X metro, because taxi and metro are similar terms by transitivity in between these two equations. So, uh, when executing this program in, with the uh, uh, R uh, tool uh, implementing the facile language, we have a solution in this case. In this case, we know that the rule of L X uh, uh, is rich with this uh, Satisfaction they need for the for the final user. Note that here we are combining two um, fuzzy uh, elements. On the one side, similarity relations, but also we have two degrees as opposed with the weights of the rule, and also uh, connectives, fuzzy connectives coming from the lattice of two degrees. We are introducing the system mm -hmm. now. Uh, just uh, three or four screenshots of uh, the tool 
we have in we are implementing is we believe software to can download uh, it uh, from this web page. Here you can see uh, uh, the program before augmented with other uh, uh, facts. Um, a box for introducing the goal and the solution in this case. The system uh, can also be executed online. If you prefer to do, to do so, you will find three boxes for introducing the set of program rules, the lattice of two degrees, and the similarity questions. And then, uh, after introducing a given goal, you get the solutions and also the derivation tree in text mode or data in graphical mode. So, uh, no, the, uh, internal computations. <coughs> Regarding the declarative semantics, uh, just uh, um, a few uh, notions, and uh, I will try to, to explain it better in, in, with uh, very simple examples. The notion of hybrid interpretation is just uh, a mapping between the hybrid base, that is the set of uh, ground atoms in the program and the lattice of two degrees associated to the program. Uh, if you know the interpretation of each uh, ground atom, you automatically can extend the interpretation to any formula, any ground formula or uh, any formula with, uh, uh, with uh, variables, with universally quantified variables. Now, before um, building the uh, the passive least passive error model of the programs, we must firstly do two instrumental or two technical uh, um, works tasks. The first one is to linearize those rules with uh, which have um, repeated occurrences of the same variable in the head. For instance, if your rule is q x x is p x, we uh, can linearize it by replacing the two occurrences of x in the head, we replace them by fresh variables, i1 and uh, i, uh, i1 and y2, and in the body we simply establish the similarity between the new variables with respect to the old. Uh, uh, the remaining body is, uh, doesn't suffer changes. And the second aspect is that for each rule uh, in the linearized program, you, if you have a, um, um, if the head, if the head is uh, this one and you have that there is other atom which uh, is similar to this head, you must produce a new rule in the standard program with this shape. This rule, which we call, we say that this rule is similar to the original. So, by adding to the program uh, similar rules, at the end we obtain uh, what we call an extended program. We call it uh, AP. P B is the set of program rules, and K is the extended program. And now we produce the Rembrandt model uh, by reasoning on this extended program instead of the original one. Now, we say that uh, given an integral interpretation, it is a general model. If uh, for each ground instance of any rule, or all the rules in the extended program uh, are satisfied, uh, uh, satisfy this condition. So, so, uh, let's go uh, in a few minutes, seconds, I will show you an example. Uh, the least error model is just the integral one, and we have proved that this, uh, this um, characterization is uh, just a model and also the main one. So, in our example, we have just one program rule and one similarity. Initially, uh, we, our program rules indicate that A is a propositional symbol, has grades alpha. And we establish the similarity between A and B with the similarity to B bottom. This is the lattice of two degrees. And the models of these programs for EA are any uh, interpretation bigger than alpha. 
But note in the study program, we have also a rule uh, uh, with this shape because A is similar to B. Now, the models for, uh, for B are all these ones. And I am going to change the, the, the two degrees of the, the rule and the similarity equation. If you increase the two degree of A, you now the number of models for A is, uh, uh, is, is lower. But for B, uh, they uh, don't change. <coughs> you can go uh, to the top. Now, just one model for A and four models uh, for, for B. The, uh, if we uh, do the inverse, our rule is a rule in this one, and the similarity relation starts with top. We have uh, four models for A. Uh, uh, all these are models for A, all these are models for B. The, mind, the least uh, model in this case is bottom and bottom for both cases, and this in this program, the least general, the, the fast, the least fast general model of this program is simply a series to A and B bottom. And we can move again up uh, uh, the way of the proof. And now the number of models is this one. Now we are, finally, this is. In this case, that we can say that the least fuzzy herbal model of this program is that they assume beta for A and beta for B. In the proceedings, you will see a much more complex example. We are uh, this program with three rules. This is a uh, first, or, uh, first order program. I'm going to last with the proposition in case uh, you have seen the previous example. Uh, uh, here we are using that the lag lag is of two degrees with uh, partial ordering. And um, in this case, we consider, uh, we establish that A and I, A prime have uh, similarity alpha, while B and B prime have similarity beta. Of course, in the last rule, we are uh, indicating that P of X, whenever QX or and x, here we are using the disjunction of the model, which is the same way. And if you follow the reasoning in the, in the proceedings, you will see that the error uh, model of this program uh, is uh, the one shown here. And finally, with the program of nothing uh, about filters and so on, we uh, can reason that uh, the declarative semantics that is, the least passive error model of this program indicates that Hydropolis is backward list with this 0.9 uh, uh, to degree and for any other uh, ground atom, you will uh, obtain this uh, value. Of course, there are other atoms not shown here that uh, because the, the the interpretation of uh, such atoms is zero. For example, this is the case of um, close reads taxi. That's an upper here because uh, it, 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 the, mean, it, the, the value assigned uh, to this atom by the error model is less. So, to conclude, Fasil is uh, the name of the language which extends the smart, as we have seen at the beginning, but also Boosie Prolog is a, is, a, um, is a variant of Prolog. We have been working with Boosie Prolog in the past. It's a language uh, which uh, extends the uh, pure uh, um, Prolog process with similarity relations. We have in been inspired by both languages for fusing them, and uh, in the case of uh, um, FASIL, after introducing the syntax operational semantics and relation issues, and this is what we have seen uh, our proposal for the kind of semantics. And of course, we must, in the near future, we must connect both uh, semantics uh, by means of syntax and completeness results. Uh, 
nice, nice job. Um, I, I have a kind of conceptual or theoretical question, which is how, I mean, you talked about this as, a, as an extension of horn. Uh, and a sense of horn, of horn, of horn, of horn, of horn, of horn. Horn, okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm wondering if one wanted to combine the negation as failure in the part of sense, like well founded negation as failure, or some other flavors. Mm -hmm. To what extent, how would it make sense to do that? And with this uh, language, we uh, don't work with narration. This is uh, the first uh, idea. Initially, uh, we can think on our kind of uh, uh, connective uh, for producing narration of, of, of uh, atoms. But the, the, the true degree of this uh, connective should be something like uh, the narration of X is one minus x, something in this way. The problem is that we cannot use these connectives in, or in this connective in our program because uh, the, we require that the connectives in the, uh, the lattices of two degrees uh, uh, be, uh, mm, when the all parameters uh, are true, the result must be true, and all parameters, when all parameters are false, are, are zero, uh, the result must be, must be zero. So, uh, this kind of narration mm, can, doesn't uh, mm, accomplish with this requirement, and for, for us it is not possible to include uh, narration and as this point. I know that there are uh, people working in, I have some colleagues in like, the University of Malaga, which has uh, been introducing into the MAL framework some, uh, mm, some concepts related with the Generation, but uh, this is not my research topic, and I cannot say anymore. So, any other questions? Um, can you help us this intuition of the value of like 0 0.38, right? So, could you tell us 0 0.38? Does it mean it's uh, closer to false and to true? And the idea is that uh, choosing the weight of the uh, rules. This is a very common question that people make me in many conferences. Uh, just since the, the weight of the roof, in principle, is a uh, task uh, depending on the, it depends on the parameter, and we assume that the parameter has been, uh, has consulted the, the, the customer, the customer who is telling. I think that, the, for instance, I think that this, this mm, is a program use in a, a travel agency. And in this travel agency, they have evidences because uh, 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 people have uh, commented there that hypnopolis is one of I can, uh, I, I seem to say that, that uh, the, this task is uh, depends on the, the customers, the customers. But the grammar simply borders it with a number. So, did you consider to have some adjustment functions that the uh, values do not go so quickly to zero? So, to try to keep them closer to one. In my own work on ancient pressure about similarity, we have introduced adjustment functions which avoid the quick generation of the fuzzy values around to zero. So, like, um, yes, uh, I this. maybe this is connected with what we call thresholding techniques. We have some, some work uh, regarding tabulation techniques for executing these programs in a tabulated way, and we have introduced these thresholds in the sense for uh, the user decides this is my cut. I put my cut in 0, 8, and the other the solution uh, uh, lower is never uh, displayed because it is never uh, produced. One more question from William. Yeah, it's just uh, and then a simple uh, question. So there are a lot of similarities like between Metro and Taxi and Brian Garvis, and which makes sense. So how do you? So maybe this also relates to your previous answer, this is the customer that somehow enters these, or someone has to enter these similarities, right? 
Because it's very reminiscent of conceptual similarity to ontology, right? Conceptual distance and specificity and so on. Like in metro and taxi, they're both means of transportation, and one may be on rail, so. Yeah. This is can say the same before, but in general, it is possible that some equations be present some errors. For instance, assume that the program indicates that taxi and metro are similar to 0, 5, and metro and taxi are similar to 0, 4. The algorithm we have implemented is is not our algorithm, and automatically selects the best. Yeah, regardless of very important aspect of the work, right? The similarity between trying to determine if it works properly or not. Speak to the sensitivity of the solution to the weights that are assigned. So, for example, if uh, Vanguard disk is 0.91, or you know, there's a perturbation of those numbers, does that have a linear effect, or is it a uh, you know a more disruptive effect if you change the weights? In this case, we can model real numbers in zero one, so you can put more. Uh, yeah. yeah. You decide the, the number. Because the solution very sensitive to the design. Yes, of course. We are preparing now a, a new work uh, where uh, the idea is to, uh, when you have a solution, you can just simply act on one uh, way without uh, by executing the program to catch all the new. The new because we we can shape some computations and uh, intermediate computations, and in which sense they are sensitive? It depends because uh, you, it, it depends also on the fuzzy collectives you use. Because uh, for instance, city the international of models you have the mining between two elements. You have the value between 0, 1 and 0, 9 is the same as 0, 1 and 0, 8 and 0, 7 and 0, 6. So it depends on the qualities and in the order in which they appear in the computation. Thank you.